Walt Disney Pictures and Pixar present a landmark event in the history of animation. Andy's coming, everybody! Back to your places! The first completely computer-animated feature film. Right. Yeah, that's great. Toy Story. Yes. Draw. No! Oh, got me again. Set in a world where toys come to life when people aren't around, Toy Story tells the story of Woody, an old-fashioned pull-string toy. Reach for the sky! And Buzz Lightyear, a supercharged Rain action seems... figure who threatens to take over as top toy in the room. And there seems to be no... Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Two-time Academy Award winner Tom Hanks is the voice of Woody. Woody is a uh, classic piece of Americana. He's the old-fashioned, western, loose-limbed, marionette without the strings he's got uh, he's got a vocabulary that is stored in a wire in his chest and he says things like you're my favorite deputy and tim allen the star of television's home improvement is the voice the of the new closed. toy in town buzz lightyear to the rescue <laughs> my character is a uh, buzz lightyear he lands in a in a new world actually he gets born in a new world because he's a toy but he doesn't realize he's a toy Actually, I, I'm, I'm stationed up in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. Joining Hanks and Allen in the cast are Annie Potts as the voice of Bo Peep. Oh, don't let it get to you, Woody. What do you say I get someone else to watch the sheep tonight? <laughs> Hell yeah. Don Rickles is Mr. Potato Head. Ages three and up. It's on my box. Ages three and up. I'm not supposed to be babysitting Princess Drool. Jim Varney is the voice of Slinky Dog. I knew you'd come back, Woody. Hey, I'm ready this time. No, Slink. Oh, well, all right. You can be ready if you uh, want. No, not, not now, Slink. Hey, wait, what's, what's going on? This staff meeting? John Ratzenberger is the voice of Ham, the piggy bank. I hate to break up the staff meeting, but they're here! And Wally Shawn speaks for Rex, a Tyrannosaurus with an inferiority complex. What if Andy gets another dinosaur? A mean one! I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection! These are absolutely some of my favorite toys. These are Toy Story's director, John Lasseter, drew on his own love of toys and the power of computers to create the film's one-of-a-kind world. And it was so exciting. Every day you would go to work and there would be like something new on the monitor, on the screen, and you're like, wow, that's great! To create Toy Story, Lasseter and his team began where all Disney animated features begin, with the story and the characters. When he goes over and Sarge is sitting on the table and he says, Sergeant, establish a recon post downstairs. It's code Red, you know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, men, you heard him. Once the script has been written, a team of artists and producers join Lasseter in working out the action and dialogue, scene by scene, shot by shot. And right. Star Command, do you read me? Why don't they answer? <laughs> Through this process, the characters and the story are formed. For Woody and Buzz Lightyear, Lasseter found inspiration in a couple of favorite toys from his youth. See, he has a pull string. See, that's Can I Stay With You. Somebody's poisoned the water hole! Buzz Lightyear was actually derived from the G.I. Joe. And so we thought, you know, as an action figure, we'd update him and stuff. But he's... Buzz Lightyear's about the, the same size as G.I. Joe. The storyboards are shot on an animation camera. T-O-Y, toy. And cut together with temporary voices to create a story reel. The story reel will evolve continuously throughout the making of the film. Yay. While the story is still in the works, actors are cast as the voices in the film. It is the first time either Tom Hanks or Tim Allen has performed the voice of an animated character. Your helmet does that! That whoosh thing! You are a cool toy! The voices were recorded over a two-year period of time. Come on, Sheriff. There's a kid over in that house who needs us. Now let's get you out of this thing. At each session, Lasseter this provided the actors with material that had been worked out in the story sessions. So this is like, you know, you really care about Andy. So come on, this is Andy we're talking about. Hey, listen, listen, no one's getting replaced. This is Andy we're talking about. Hey, listen, no one's getting replaced. This is Andy we're talking about. 
All of the actors gave us absolutely wonderful performances. I know Andy's excited about Buzz. You know, he'll always have a special place for you. Yeah. And the potato head walks by and goes, yeah, like the attic. <laughs> the computer has finally gotten to the point where animators can use them, and they're powerful enough to get those performances onto the screen. With recording sessions underway, computer artists and technicians begin breathing life into the characters. Let's get you out of here, Buzz. Don't you get it? You see the hat? I am Mrs. Nesbitt. They start the process by modeling the character in the computer's memory. A technical director like Eben Ostby plots thousands of points on the surface of a sculpture. The computer memorizes the points and enables an artist to move them in three dimensions. You can see a rough approximation of what he'll look like when he is uh, when he's rendered in the in the film. Supervising animator Pete Doctor then tests the animation variables or AVARs, which control the movement of the characters. I just tried to push like the legs as far in as I could, and then on the on the push off, tried to stretch them as far as I could to really make sure that the model's not going to rip apart or do anything weird. He's got great snarls and sneers and... When Bill Reeves programmed Woody, the cowboy doll, he gave him 700 different animation controls. 200 for his face, 58 for his mouth alone. All right, that's enough. Look, we're all... The animators initially work out the characters' movements as rough polygons, which are easier to manipulate in the computer's memory. What we tried to do is get everything to read just in the acting, the pantomime, and then when you stick the face on, it'll only plus that. While the animators animate, artists like Tia Kratter... She's painted over the face where we want to have it be more shiny and less shiny. And production designer Ralph Eggleston designed the surfaces of every single character and object in the film. Woody, for example, has 28 texture maps just to dirty up his face and hands. He happens to be plastic, but we really wanted to give it a sense of history so that it doesn't look brand new. Everything you see on the screen had to be designed and programmed into the computer, from the beautiful sunset to the 1.2 million leaves on the trees in Andy's neighborhood. It all had to be created inside the memory of Pixar's powerful computers. A stranger from the outside. Consequently, all of the creatures, toys, props, and settings in Toy Story exist in virtual space. Model packets are created, however, to ensure that this virtual world is one of consistent proportions and realistic appearances. Shaders are the mathematical computer programs that describe whoa, a surface whoa. appearance. They tell the computer how to reflect light. There's a glass shader, a hardwood floor shader, and an Andy's room wallpaper shader. It took nine months to create the shader for Andy's hair alone. One of the things we tried to do with this film was to remove it from its uh, computer look by using a lot of uh, specialized lighting, a lot of bounce light. A lot of uh, very, very careful lighting. We had a, a, a really great lighting crew on this film. Once a scene was animated, it then had to be lit. The computer lighting crew was able to manipulate lights much the same as a lighting crew would for a live action film. And then some. Mr. Potato Head has five lights that shine only on his ears. Come out of here. No way out of here. <gasps> Final lighting produces the most dramatic visual change in the entire production process. Scenes suddenly come to life. <laughs> Sid's room is warped and musty. We are gonna die. I'm out of here. Locked. And an imaginary restaurant called Pizza Planet reminds Buzz Lightyear of home. All right, Buzz. Meanwhile, sound production continues. Actors are called back in to record new lines or change the timing on old ones. And Grammy Award winner Randy Newman's score and the three songs he sings for the soundtrack are mixed at Skywalker Sound in San Rafael, California. None of the characters, elaborate sets, or simple props in Toy Story have ever been touched by a human hand, a pencil, or even a paintbrush. But the imagination of a lot of very talented people touched the film in many ways. Next stop, 
Andy! Wait a minute. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! For John Lasseter, Toy Story suggests the promise of things to come. I've learned so much about this medium from making this film that it's, it's given all of us ideas on what we can do in the future. And clearly, this is just the beginning.